can't I just ride on my own tiger shirt? No? Yeah, that, that would be impossible. Pfft. Ride on a shirt. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review How to Train Your Dragon 2. So of course, How to Train Your Dragon 2 is the sequel to How to Train Your Dragon. The film has the same voice cast as the original Jay Baruchel, Gerard Butler, America Ferreira, Craig Ferguson, Jonah Hill, TJ Miller, Kristen Wiig, Christopher Mintz Plass, and we have Kate Blanchett coming into this film as Hiccup's mom. I was really excited for How to Train Your Dragon 2. It's actually my most anticipated animated film of the summer. I just couldn't wait for this film. It looked incredible. I really liked the original, but the sequel looked like it had the potential to be better than the original. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is a very worthy sequel to the original. This film looks really good. The animation is absolutely beautiful. The voice cast from everyone is perfect. They all use the same voices, but it matches the characters so well. I don't see Jay Baruchel voicing in a studio. I actually do see Hiccup. Same could go to Gerard Butler, America Ferreira, Craig Ferguson, Jonah Hill, and more. The music by John Powell, just like in the original, absolutely incredible. It's very captivating, it's beautiful to listen to and it really matches the overall tone of the film so well. The storyline is very well written. Hiccup and Toothless still have a very good relationship going on. Hiccup and Stoic, they have a really good father-son relationship. The relationship has definitely progressed and I found it really interesting how the film does that. As the film reveals, Hiccup actually has a mom voiced by Kate Blanchett and Kate Blanchett does a phenomenal job voicing the character. It's very well written. Toothless is just as adorable as he is in the original. The action sequences in the film look astonishing. Like, wow, I'm blown away by the action sequences. But the animation too overall, just so colorful and so beautiful. Slightly more details than what you got in the original. The details on Hiccup being older as well as everyone else that has grown up. Very brilliant job. The humor is added when it's necessary. So when the film does add humor, it's funny and it has that nice light-hearted touch to it. The film does have a dark tone. It's definitely darker than the original. It furthers the story much more. But at the same time, the film does give you light-hearted moments. And I just thought it did an impressive job balancing the more mature dark moments with the light-hearted moments so it doesn't feel like the film is too dark. It is definitely dark enough to give you enough depth for the characters, for the adults to get invested in the storyline. Definitely one of the things I truly appreciated about How to Train Your Dragon 2. For the first two acts, I was actually loving, I said loving, How to Train Your Dragon 2. It was definitely everything I wanted. I was very pleased. I was so happy. It was about to become the first great animation film of this year. And then the problem starts for me when the third and final act happens, which is, I believe, the final 25 minutes of the film. Once the Dragon War begins, that's when the film loses a step for me. You know how in the Wolverine some people were saying how the movie was really good for the first two acts and then the third and final act lost a step for them? That's exactly how I felt with How to Train Your Dragon 2. That's when I felt like the magic that the first two acts had, they disappeared a little. The final 25 minutes felt extremely rushed to me. The tone doesn't feel as consistent as the first two acts have, and I just felt like it was all over the place. Like, it's action filled in the final act, and trust me, I was still highly entertained by the action sequences, and a couple of emotional things that happened during the final 25 minutes, but I was still like really distracted on how rushed and not very well paced the final act was. It made the film go from being absolutely perfect to 
just good. And I'm not saying the final act of the film is bad because it's not. It's actually still well done despite the problems the third act does have. It's just not as strong as the first two acts in my opinion. Another problem I did have is that I felt like the main villain was just okay. He really was not as good of a villain as he should have been. Like, he has a reason for being a villain, and I'm glad the movie did that, so that was good. Other than that, though, I felt like he was just a very weak villain. He didn't really offer much to the story for me. Overall, How to Train Your Dragon 2 is a very well-made sequel. It's such a fun ride. The third act definitely suffered the film from being perfect. Even with the third act, it was still entertaining nonetheless. The film has beautiful animation, great storytelling, great tone, awesome music by John Powell. It's just a good animation film, but it's still worth watching. The family could definitely sit down and just enjoy this animated sequel. And I did see this film in 3D, and I would recommend the 3D. It looks really beautiful. The original film by far is better, in my opinion. I am going to give How to Train Your Dragon 2 3 out of 4 stars. Fly away with me, Tiger Shirt. Wah! I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget, the owl always have... TIGER POWER!